Hello, my name is Rosalie Ina. And today I felt urged to share something to think about uh, and to reflect on within yourself. When you are going to therapy, and, and yes, therapy can serve many, many purposes in helping you unlock or to see from another perspective things that are within you so that you can heal and work through uh, what's inside of you that you need to process to heal. What I felt called to speak on is when you're, when some are in therapy for an extended period of time. And what I'm referring to more so is like those who are like for years or decades going to therapy. Please understand there's inherently nothing wrong with going to therapy. But if therapy is serving as a crutch and you're not healing yourself, from what is unlocking or what is what you are uncovering in your sessions. If you're not actively self-healing and unpacking and doing some of the self-work from the realizations you come to in sessions, you're keeping a belief system that you may need to move on from or a way of doing things. You keep opening or coming back to um, things that just aren't serving you anymore, that you're just keeping alive instead of moving forward and um, shedding the old skin in, in a way of speaking or letting go of the old you because you have learned from this experience, you've healed this trauma. When you keep going back and, and, open, and opening the wounds, there's nothing wrong with looking back, reflecting to see how far you've come but to unpack <laughs> what you've closed up, um, you want to think about that. That it, it may not be serving you because you, you is it really healing? Then, is you're reopening a wound that has healed? That's essentially what it's like, and that's what I felt called to share. S to stop unpacking old wounds that have been healed. <laughs> There's a new you always emerging. You are, change is constant. You are always changing. Um, the other part was self-healing. Many of us, like myself, are on a path to self-healing. And that does take a lot of critical thinking and uh, contemplating and observation. But the same theory is in place, not theory, the same action is in place of not consistently opening up old wounds that you've worked so hard to heal. See how far you have come. Trust yourself. If you're not building your self-belief from your experiences, what are you really doing going to therapy? If you're not healing, if you're not moving forward, uh, the other thing I'm reminded of is sometimes in these therapy sessions with um, these different doctors or psychiatrists or psychologists, counselors even, is sometimes, like I said earlier, it's like a crutch um, where you're becoming dependent on them to heal you when that's not how it works. <laughs> you have to heal yourself. They can be an aid but you still have to do the self-work and the self-healing to really make the change you want to see within yourself or to become fully the person you want to become. Please keep these in mind. Take what resonates, leave the rest. This is sent with love for your, with love for wanting to see you and wanting you to expand into the unique being that you already are, where your unique soul is complete and whole. Remember you, remember yourself, love yourself, heal yourself. Nothing wrong with assistance. Don't become dependent, depend on yourself. I love you.